Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. I'm going to make some coconut shrimp today and some fried rice, but I have a surprise. My grandson Dalton is in from Huntsville and he's going to be cooking with me. I'm so excited to have him here. Now I can teach him how to make this dish and he can go back That's right. and cook it for his sweet Anna. That's right. How about that? Mm -hmm. So you ready to start? Let's get it going. Let's do it. We're going to start with some fried rice. Okay. Okay. Which does not take, none of this takes long. No. So if you want to come in after work and make it, you're going to have a meal prep. Real quick and easy. Done in no That's time. That's how we like it. Because you normally you're going to use leftover rice. Mm -hmm. So cook it the night before, have it with yeah. a meal, make it the next day or two with some fried rice and shrimp. Okay. So we're going to get our skillet mm -hmm. going here all of this dumps in one pan there's no switching out mix it anything. all together nice Abs and easy absolutely you'll be surprised how quick and easy that coconut shrimp's going to be Let's too because you know shrimp doesn't take long to cook or it can be rubbery mm -hmm. just a drop of oil for this rice okay And we've got some onions. Now, I've already diced this up. I diced up half of a uh, smallish medium onion. You really don't need a whole lot. You don't want a whole lot. And this skillet, I got new. I love this thing. So, if it's not on my Amazon store, I need to put oh, it, it in be. there. Because <laughs> it is amazing. It's deep and it gets hot quick. Yeah. 12 inch plenty big enough for us or you and Anna. Plenty. Hear that sizzle? That sizzle like it's hot quick. It does get hot quick. You want to hear that sizzle when you put anything in a frying pan with oil. Absolutely. He does cook. He does cook. There's some dishes that he does. So we're going to teach him how to make this. Mm -hmm. When you get onions and garlic going in the frying pan, oh, it's the best. you have a meal right there. Absolutely. That smell is something. It's enough to make anybody think you know how to cook. That's the thing, right? <laughs> that is the thing. You trick them into That's it, right. right? Hey, you got good ingredients, you're going to have a good meal. And we're going to cook with some really good ingredients. Now, you do not want to cook your onions to the point of really being mm -hmm. You want a little bit of bite left to mm -hmm. them. Or I do when I have fried rice. I don't want to hunt around and say, hey, where is that where is flavor that I'm looking for? Where is that taste? So, I don't want them brown. I'm going to cut my onions. Don't sweat them too much. No, I'm going to cut my skillet down just a little bit not too much so but i'm going to add just a little bit of salt to this okay because we're not really using salty ingredients you like this salt and pepper that's pretty fancy grinder I like that. your mama got me onto this oh. when she broke her shoulder and she got her automatic stuff she got hers and then we found these that all you have to do is i like yours more turn it over yeah. and she showed them to me and i ordered them right then okay so we've got this i should be letting you do this so you want me to do some stirring yes in? you yeah. do this and uh scoot up here and i'm going to tell you what to do all righty let me get on this side of you we're going to teach him he's got to do it right <laughs> i think he may be a lot like me i learn better what doing i'm it. doing oh yeah once i've done something i can do it again but he is at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. I'm bragging on him. He's in his senior year, and he is taking... Aerospace engineering. Yes. Know what you going for? So, <laughs> yes. He is a lot smarter than we are, all of us put together. Okay, so I think you're good right there on those onions. This rice dump They're in. starting to get translucent, mm -hmm. but not all the way. So let's dump the rice in. And dump it in there. So I think if he can handle aerospace engineering, 
He can handle cooking a little bit of rice and uh, shrimp. Oh, it's just like cooking. If I can do it, so can everybody. Anna's a good cook, isn't she? She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> She keeps me taken care of. And is his girlfriend. And uh, we feel she is part of our family. So break those clumps up. It's been around long enough, don't you um, think? I think so too. I think you can see. You know, and this works out real good. I've been wanting to make fried rice for a little while now at home. Yeah. We just. And you'll see how easy it is to make right now. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that's starting to get that's hot, right? Spread out, yep. Nice and spread out good. Yes, I have beaten up two eggs, whole eggs. Okay, now when we pour this in, I want you to start stirring real, real quick, quick so what the idea that scramble. is scrambled. Mm -hmm. Yes. Especially now that we got the egg in, you don't want to overdo it. No, you do not want to overdo it because that egg is going to get tough. You know mm -hmm. how it is if you walk away from your scrambled eggs in the morning, you say, oh my goodness, i got to start over. <laughs> so that those eggs are getting good. looks delicious, doesn't it? And I think they're done. Now, we've got some green peas. I've got just a good handful here. For the amount we're making, this may be about half a cup. They're frozen. But once you put them in here, they're going to thaw almost immediately, and you can eat them right away. That's right. You don't have to yeah. worry about, they've got to be cooked and all. These are the best things. Good to go. So let's throw those in. It's starting to look like fried rice. It isn't sure it? is. Mix it all together. See how pretty that Every is? Every bite's a good bite. Okay. Well, we here comes the good part. We're going to start adding the good stuff. I'm going to grab one thing while you're finishing stirring that up. Because I'm not sure I have enough soy sauce. And I might. And I like to put extra soy sauce on mine. Yeah. I love the soy sauce. Personally, I don't like the low sodium soy sauce. But if you do, by all means, use the low sodium. All right. All right. So we're going to start... Let's start with some sesame, sesame oil. oil. We have pure sesame oil. Now, when you open this, keep it in the refrigerator because it will go bad. And I'll tell you Which when. Alrighty. So we're going to pour in. It doesn't take a whole lot of sesame oil, but I love that flavor. Okay. That is and um, mm -hmm. we may add just a smidge more. Let's put a smidge more of this. I think a teaspoon altogether is going to be plenty. A Can you smell it Oh, now? yeah. It gives it that good Asian smell. A lot of people are afraid of stuff like sesame oil. But no, it's good. And it really elevates the dish. You know, It it's, does a lot of dishes. And it just gives it that special taste it does. that it needs. It makes... And once it hits that pan, this is not toasted sesame oil. You can no. get it, but um, when you once it hits that heat, it almost mm -hmm. like it toasts it. You want to get that raw sesame oil and makes a great sauce, or just tossing it in little things like this rice. Absolutely. Ooh, it's so good. Absolutely. So now we want to add soy sauce. I want to add soy sauce. Oh yeah. So we, I'm gonna we're gonna want more in. than this. Yeah, I think so. That Ooh. was. Um, that might have been a tablespoon. I don't know. That may be enough. Right. Nope. <laughs> nah, I can always use a little more. Not looking at it. I think we need a little bit You want to see that brown color hit all the That's rice. That's the perfect color right mm -hmm. when it gets brown. This one. He loves to eat it. We're good. teaching him how to cook it now. <laughs> So what do you think you put in there? Another, I don't think you put another tablespoon. Not even, not quite a tablespoon, maybe uh, a half. Half, three quarters, something like that. Yeah, maybe a tablespoon and a half total. And look at here, you just made fried yeah. rice. Perfect color, absolutely. And you see how quick it was mm -hmm. to put this together. And you know what, it's done. Go and crank this off. So we're gonna turn it off. Make sure this is and nice and even. We're going to set this aside, and when we come back, 
I'm going to show him how to make coconut shrimp. Ooh so y'all stay with us and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and ready to cook our shrimp. He has served this up in our serving bowl. So that is what our fried rice looks like. Let y'all get a good look at that. And it is amazing. We tasted it. We had to. <laughs> Couldn't wait. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do coconut shrimp. And you can actually do this with regular shrimp, not coconut. Mm -hmm. Just leave out the coconut. Okay. I love to use panko breadcrumbs because it makes it a little crispier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Than flour or just regular, regular plain bread. breadcrumbs. Yeah, regular plain breadcrumbs. Although I like a a floured mm -hmm. shrimp, especially if I'm doing like the small. We have jumbo shrimps today. So I've butterflied them, but I want to show you how I do it. I've got mm -hmm. all but a couple done. So these are jumbo, and you'll see they've already been peeled and deveined, but we're going to watch in case there's any veins left. Yeah. You want to take them out. So sharp knife. Be careful. These are really sharp Rata knives, and you can get them in my Rata store, and it's listed in the description box, and run down that back it opens up and looky there now see that's got a little bit of a vein left just pull it out you don't want to eat that okay Ooh. so now we've got some eggs beaten and he went ahead and put some salt and pepper in here so we're not going to add any more salt to our shrimp no. we have panko breadcrumbs and coconut. Now we use sweetened coconut in this bowl. Combine them by equal parts. So we're going to start, we're going to put them in our eggs. See here our oil getting hot. It's popping. <laughs> we do a few at a time so we can manage them, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's get them coated real good. And we'll have to wash our hands in between yeah. batches. And since there's two of us, you can get the eggs, I'll get the bread. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that one hand nonsense. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and bread them. I'm going to let you then grab I'll this pan right here because on once you bread them, lay them on that. Make it a little easier. We'll start yeah, and just kinda, coating these and uh -huh, then we'll roll and them around. kind of press that coconut and breadcrumbs mm -hmm. all over it in the middle, everywhere. I want to get it, make sure they're all covered. Yes. And I use sweetened coconut. Mm -hmm. You can use unsweetened if you want to, but um, I like that flavor. Yeah. And to me, it's not too sweet. It's not overly sweet. But that's your preference, whichever you would rather use. And it also depends if you're diabetic, um, you know, how much you can, sugar you can take. But um, I am, but this is not enough sugar to make my sugar go yeah. up. It's not that sweet. Let's see. Got these shrimp nice and coated. Yes, how beautiful that is. Okay, move. see this is so easy to make it home instead of going out somewhere and paying good money. Yeah. It's not cheap to go out and eat anymore. It is not. Especially something like shrimp, you know, people think it's it's a scary thing to start with. It's not just chicken or beef, you know, it's a little it's a little different. It is, but it's not a difficult it's meal not. to make. And, um, but especially on a student's time and Yeah, time bank and account. money. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper to cook at home. Absolutely. You think you could make so. this at home? Oh, absolutely. Especially after learning under the best <laughs> right here at Karen Jones Food and Family. He's prejudiced because his grandmother has cooked for him for 21 years. Ain't that right? All right. So let's get those shrimps going in the frying pan. What do you say? Go for it, yeah. Let's get it going back up again. Shrimp only takes two or three minutes per side, if that long. Actually, about two minutes a side. Once it gets brown, 
you're going to see that as it starts cooking, that shrimp is going to go from this to this. And once it makes that C, it turns pink, you know it's you done. You know you're done. It is done. Okay, he is on his last shrimp. And I can't wait to try these. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get this in. Let me go ahead. Yes. Okay, so I just turned this, I just turned this skillet up to let it get hot. So let's test with just a little bit, a little pinch. It's almost perfect to get done. Almost now perfect. we have a pan with a wire rack. So when we take it out of this skillet, we're gonna put it here so any excess oil can drip off and not stay in our food. Okay. Now can you hear it starting to fry? Mm -hmm. Fry we're good? Okay. That's what we so want we to can hear. start dropping those in. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. You want to hear that start sizzling right when you get it in there. Yes, That's what we've got. Absolutely, because you want it to start cooking immediately. Mm -hmm. and now, you don't want to overcrowd your skillet either. No. Especially when you're frying something like this. You want to make sure there's plenty of room for everything to breathe. Yeah, because all that's going to do, if it's overcrowded, is steam whatever you're cooking. And that and hurts the crispiness, too. Yes. I love boiled shrimp, but I don't want steamed coconut shrimp. And I think that's the perfect that's good. amount right yeah, there. Yeah, we'll stop there. Okay. So let's look at that we'll one see. again. Looky there. Isn't that oh, beautiful? Yeah. So we're going to start turning these. We just want them to get a good golden brown color and another thing with frying is even after you take it up it's still going to continue to cook for right. another minute because it's hot looky there we haven't been cooking very long and Not we're almost all. done yeah real quick real easy for sure yeah too. yes mm. curled up beautiful Golden brown, delicious. Ooh, look at that one. Some great crisp on them. Isn't it though? We have to brag on Anna. <laughs> and I know she'll watch this. Hey, Anna, we she love better. you. She knows. She is taking, correct me, biochemical. And she's already working somewhat in the field, right? Mm -hmm. Chemical engineering, going into biomedicals and She's been doing research up at the university all summer, and she will be in the fall, too. So, and she's a year behind. She's a junior this yes. year. So, but we're proud of both of them. She's a lovely girl. So maybe next time I can get him on here again, and she can come with Hopefully. him. Hopefully. She couldn't come down this trip. A lot prettier and a lot smarter, too. No, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm biased. Okay, look at this, guys. Those are getting perfect. Look at the color on these strips. I want to get one I can hold up for you that is not, that is getting done. Can you see some of that? We're going to hold this up so you can see this whole pan. So we're going to start taking these up out of the frying pan. Looky there. Mm -mm. You ready to eat that? I am. So we're going to get these up out of the frying pan, and we're going to finish up. And we're going to come back, make a plate, and we'll tell you how it tastes. Show you the good stuff. We're going, yes, we'll show you the good <laughs> stuff. So y'all stay with us, okay? All right. We got done cooking, or Dalton got done cooking up this shrimp. I'm going to let you hold that plate up there to show them. Look how beautiful, beautiful. Top that it with is. some green onion. And y'all, it doesn't take long Mm -hmm. to do this what do you say we service up some and have oh, let's, lunch let's get in let's get to it now we have us an orange sauce we just use store-bought but you can actually make your own if you want mm -hmm. to go to your asian asian aisle and get the sweet chili sauce and some orange marmalade or you could use apricot mm -hmm. and just mix them together and you've got this sauce Real easy. so but for me just just a good little side to yeah. dip with. So let's uh, 
Let's serve up a plate here. Some rice. Ooh. I love fried rice. Let's get some of this shrimp on the plate. So crispy. Yes, it is. We'll just get a start here, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's garnish it a little more with these green onions. We've got our sauce. Looky there. Show that off. See how quick mm -mm. and simple mm -mm. it is to have a delicious meal. Look at that crisp. Give me a give yep. me a fork. Well, I'm going to be making mine while you taste I'm it. Let them hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. That beautiful crisp. We'll see how it is. That fried rice, real good. Just the right amount of soy sauce. You can taste that sesame oil, real, real good. And now for the real kicker. Yeah. That shrimp. What do you think about oh, that? You think that so? Uh, is that a winner winner in your book? Yeah, you think you can go back to Huntsville and cook it mm -hmm. and make them jealous? Mm. We've been sending pictures to his buddies. He has. <laughs> Let's try this. So crispy. Mm. I wish y'all could hear this crunch. I hope it's showing coming across our mics. <laughs> mm mm mm. That's real good right there. I want some of this rice. Mmm. I think the, we did a pretty good job. I think we did a good job. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is a fortune cookie. But I think our future is pretty bright. It'll be pretty good, I think. Yep. How about that? All right, y'all. I so have enjoyed having him with me today, and I certainly hope you've enjoyed seeing him as well. Y'all hear me talk about him and brag on him. We actually got him here, got me here today. So I hate to let him go, but I know after I feed him, he needs to get on his way back to Huntsville. We are expecting storms today, so I want him to get on before it get gets on, bad and he's not driving in it. Yeah, because it takes him close to two hours to get there. So, but y'all join us. I'm glad to have you in my kitchen today. And I certainly hope you'll join us again. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when we put out another video. And I can put out another video with my firstborn grandson. Ain't that right? All right, thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.